I'm, I'm very, very angry right now, bro. Like, I'm very, very, very annoyed. I woke up to this very disturbing video. Like, this video is like, I don't really. I don't even understand what this guy is trying to say in this video. Like, how can you be, how can you be, 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 be telling your members, be brainwashing them that they, they shouldn't marry any man who is not a Christian, not, not just a Christian, who does not know Jesus. No, you think about it. This Christianity is a, this, this is a borrowed religion. Like, it was introduced to us. Now, I want to, I, I want to ask us this, this simple question. I'm going to play the video after this. Like, I'm, I'm going to play the video right now after this. I want to ask us this simple question. Like, our forefathers, eh, when this Christianity was not yet introduced to them, so all of them are all bad. Like, they are all bad people. All of them went to hell, right? No, I want to know if all our forefathers went to hell. Like, how can you be telling me that, okay, if I want to listen to Q music, if I want to listen to Jay-Z or Rihanna or Beyonce or Nicki Minaj, I cannot listen to them because I'm a Christian. Because I want to know Jesus. No, this is this is not right. Like we are getting these things wrong. I want I'm going to play this video right now. You're going to watch it. After you've, after you've watched it, just tell me tell me what to think. Like what you think? This thing is way too much. It's becoming way too much. Eh? This Jesus we are talking about. Like who is this Jesus self? See, like to this life, you really need to be pure in heart. You need to be, just be pure in heart and know what you are doing. Have faith. You see, now faith is just, the main thing here is faith. Have that faith. Forget Jesus. Forget. Just have that faith and be pure in heart. Why are we deceiving ourselves with this bo fucking borrowed, borrowed religion, bro? Let me let me ask you. You you, you said you said something that that uh, the, uh, 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 the any person that listens to the kind of music or does not know Jesus cannot be rich. And he cannot make a good husband. I want to ask you something. The richest man in Africa is not even a Christian. The richest man in the world is not even a Christian. What are we? Why, why are we doing this, bro? The most go on, go and make your research. The most faithful husband, according to Guinness World World Record, is not even a Christian. Why are we doing this to ourselves? This should stop. Like this should stop. I think that this should stop. Just share this video now. Share this video. Touch this. Touch the share button, share this video. Let it get to many people. Like we need to open our eyes. This Christianity shit is really is really taking something out of our head. Let's start thinking. Never marry a man that doesn't pray in tongues. Never. He doesn't know Jesus. Not everybody that pray in tongues knows Jesus, but everybody that knows Jesus pray in tongues. Write it down. Not everybody that prays in tongues knows Jesus, but everybody that knows Jesus prays in tongues. A man that doesn't pray in tongues is as good as a chicken. He can be scared anytime. You see, you think there's, there are physical attacks and spiritual attacks. Physically, the man can protect you to a fair extent, but spiritually, he cannot protect you. There are some people seated here right now after services. Jay Z don't want to go and wa watch. How can you marry such a man? He's a, he, he has failed. He has failed in life already before he started. Such a man cannot go far in the things of God. In this world, not in the things of God. He will die anytime Satan wants him to die. Did you hear what I said? He will die anytime Satan wants him to die. Hope you know Satan have removed a lot of people from this world. Wait, hope you know. Let's not lie. Some death we see is not God. A lot of them is not God. He said, I've not come to steal, kill, and what? I've come to give life and life what? Let's start thinking. Eh? Does it mean that back in those days when these white people have not invaded our they invaded our land and they gave us that mentality of being a Christian? They turned us into slaves. Go and read your history, my friend. Go in the history. Share this video. Share this video. And more, this is getting me pissed off right now.